the next presentation is op49 it's on knowledge attitudes and practices regarding dengue fever among mothers of pediatric dengue victims at colombo south teaching hospital sri lanka the present uh, the authors are dr b saini ranjan dr p saini ranjan b saini ranjan p saini ranjan dr m pira bakar dr tilina aryadasa dr f zaina brazil the uh, presenting author is dr p saini ranjan good morning i'm here to present uh, research that was done to assess the knowledge attitudes and practices regarding dengue fever among mothers of pediatric dengue victims at colombo south teaching hospital in sri lanka um during the last 6 years the colombo district recorded the highest number of cases of dengue fever and in the year 2017 the total cases went up to 186101 and colombo district itself reported 34274 cases out of these the uh, out of these cases the colombo south teaching hospital manages a significant number an average of 20% of the case load This table shows the number of uh, notified dengue cases from 2014 to 2019 in the Colombo district and the number of cases that were dealt with at Colombo South Teaching Hospital. In the year 2014, uh, this percentage was 30.96 in uh, Colombo districts out of which 35% was managed at Colombo South Teaching Hospital. Sustained community involvement can improve vector control efforts substantially. Mothers play an important role in protecting children from contracting the infection due to their vulnerability to exposure. Severe dengue morbidity occurs predominantly in children and mothers' knowledge, attitude and practices regarding the disease plays an important role here. Uh, coming to the objectives of this Uh, research it was to evaluate the knowledge attitude and practices regarding dengue fever among the mothers of pediatric dengue victims the specific objectives were to assess the knowledge about dengue infection to elucidate the attitude towards prevention of dengue fever to identify the dengue prevention practices and to identify how socio demographic fac- factors influencing dengue uh, influencing knowledge attitude and practices The study design was a hospital based cross sectional descriptive study in the pediatric wards of Colombo South Teaching Hospital over a period of, period of one year from October 2016 to 2017 uh, including mothers of pediatric patients receiving treatment for dengue at Colombo South Teaching Hospital the sample size was 425 a systematic sam- sampling method was used Data collection instruments was a self-administered questionnaire which had 56 closed-ended questions which were divided into eight key parts. Uh, pre-testing was done at F- Ward 15A at Colombo South Teaching Hospital. Coming to the results, uh, the knowledge regarding the symptoms, uh, signi- most mothers were aware of the common symptoms of uh, dengue fever. Uh, but uh, about only 50% of the mothers were aware that uh, pain behind the eyes was a symptom of dengue fever and 72% of mothers were aware that bleeding from any part of the body is a symptom of dengue regarding the knowledge of transmission uh, up to 94.6% of mothers knew up to 89.7% of mothers knew that all types of mosquitoes did not transmit dengue infection uh but uh, 56.2% were uh, thought that window screens and bed nets uh, reduce mosquitoes by 42.3% thought it did not the no- regarding knowledge reg- of uh, deng- management of dengue fever up to 84.1% knew that aspirin should not be taken for uh, dengue and uh, 70 uh, 71.8% knew that painkillers also should not be taken for dengue fever but uh, only 52% uh, thought that there was a uh, uh, treatment for dengue fever while 27.7 thought that there was no treatment regarding the breeding places uh, most mothers uh, had practiced uh, uh, adequate methods to uh, protect from breeding site vector breeding sites with up to more than 95% uh, 94% uh, getting rid of uh, uncovered water storage uh, containers within and outside the house 
attitude towards dengue was positive with more than 90% of the mothers knew, knowing that uh, dengue is a serious illness and that dengue fever can be prevented. Sources of dengue information, more than 95% was from the TV, radio, uh, healthcare workers and the newspapers with internet and social media contributing to 90%. Uh, pre preventing mosquito contact up to uh, up to 85 percent of the mothers uh, got rid of uh, standing water in and out around the houses and cut down bushes which were found in the yard and uh, in conclusion the average level of knowledge attitude and practices regarding dengue fever among mothers was satisfactory but uh, knowledge regarding symptoms, uh, manage, and dengue prevention techniques need to be uh, updated. Recommendations are health education to the pub public on a regular basis, involving all stakeholders, including patients, and considering a more holistic approach to the battle to eliminate this disease, and an effective bottom-up community participation in order to achieve an environmentally sustainable control program. Thank you. Uh, over to you, judges. How do you decide that you know this percentage is satisfactory, this percentage is unsatisfactory? Was it arbitrary, or are there guidelines, or on what basis did you decide that you know this is not satisfactory? That was uh, it. Was just arbitrary, so we didn't have a percentage actually to say that. Most roughly about above seventy five percent we thought it was satisfactory. As there are no questions, uh, just give her a round of applause.